Albert Venn Dicey, K.C., F.B.A. The 4th of February 1835 to the 7th of April 1922, usually cited as A.V. Dicey, was a British Whig jurist and constitutional theorist. He is most widely known as the author of Introduction to the Study of the Law of the Constitution, 1885. The principles it expounds are considered part of the uncodified British Constitution. He became Venerian Professor of English Law at Oxford and a leading constitutional scholar of his day. Dicey popularised the phrase, ''rule of law'', although its use goes back to the 17th century. Biography <inaudible> 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 His father was Thomas Edward Dicey, senior wrangler in 1811 and proprietor of the Northampton Mercury and chairman of the Midland Railway. His elder brother was Edward James Stephen Dicey. He was also a cousin of Leslie Stephen and James Fitzjames Stephen. Dicey was educated at King's College School in London and Balliol College, Oxford, graduating with firsts in classical moderations in 1856 and in literae humaniores in 1858. In 1860 he won a fellowship at Trinity College, Oxford, which he forfeited upon his marriage in 1872. He was called to the bar by the Inner Temple in 1863, subscribed to the Jamaica Committee around 1865, and was appointed to the Venerian Chair of English Law at Oxford in 1882. In his first major work, the seminal introduction to the study of the law of the Constitution he outlined the principles of parliamentary sovereignty for which he is most known. He argued that the British Parliament was an absolutely sovereign legislature, with the right to make or unmake any law. In the book, he defined the term constitutional law as including all rules which directly or indirectly affect the distribution or the exercise of the sovereign power in the state. He understood that the freedom British subjects enjoyed was dependent on the sovereignty of Parliament, the impartiality of the courts free from governmental interference and the supremacy of the common law. In 1890, he took silk, he later left Oxford and went on to become one of the first professors of law at the then New London School of Economics. There he published in 1896 his Conflict of Laws. Upon his death in 1922, Harold Lasky memorialized him as the most considerable figure in English jurisprudence since Maitland. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political position. Dicey was receptive to Jeremy Bentham's brand of individualist liberalism and welcomed the extension of the franchise in 1867. He was affiliated with the group known as the University liberals, who composed the essays on reform and was not ashamed to be labeled a radical. Dicey held that, personal liberty is the basis of national welfare. He treated parliamentary sovereignty as the central premise of the British Constitution. Dicey became a liberal unionist and a vigorous opponent of home rule for Ireland and published and spoke against it extensively from 1886 until shortly before his death, advocating that no concessions be made to Irish nationalism in relation to the government of any part of Ireland as an integral part of the United Kingdom. He was thus bitterly disillusioned by the Anglo-Irish Treaty Agreement in 1921 that Southern Ireland should become a self-governing dominion the Irish Free State, separate from the United Kingdom. Dicey was also vehemently opposed to women's suffrage, proportional representation while acknowledging that the existing first-past-the-post system wasn't perfect, and to the notion that citizens have the right to ignore unjust laws. Dicey viewed the necessity of establishing a stable legal system as more important than the potential injustice that would occur from following unjust laws. In spite of this, he did concede that there were circumstances in which it would be appropriate to resort to an armed rebellion but stated that such occasions are extremely rare. Topic bibliography Introduction to the Study of the Law of the Constitution 8th edition with New Introduction 1915 A Leap in the Dark, or Our New Constitution An Examination of the Leading Principles of the Home Rule Bill of 1893, 1893 A Treatise on the Rules for the Selection of the Parties to an Action 1870 England's Case Against Home Rule 1887 The Privy Council, The Arnold Prize Essay 1887 Letters on Unionist Delusions 1887 A Digest of the Law of 
England with reference to the conflict of laws 1st ed., 1896, 2nd ed., 1908, later expanded in various editions of Dicey Morris and Collins' A Fool's Paradise, being a constitutionalist's criticism of the Home Rule Bill of 1912-1913 lectures on the relation between law and public opinion in England during the 19th century 2nd edition 1914 The Statesmanship of Wordsworth, an essay. Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1917. Retrieved April 7, 2018 via Internet Archive. Thoughts on the Union between England and Scotland 1920, England in 1848. The Quarterly Review, 234-221-242. October 1920. J. W. F. Allison, ed. 2013. The Oxford Edition of Dicey. Oxford, Oxford UP. ISBN 9780199685. Dicey, Ed. 2013. includes the first edition of Introduction, with the main addenda in later editions. Volume 2, The Comparative Study of Constitutions, provides largely unpublished lectures on comparative constitutional law, intended for a further book. Both volumes have extensive editorial commentary. Biographies Cosgrove, Richard A. The Rule of Law, Albert Venn Dicey, Victorian Jurist. London, Macmillan. Ford, Trowbridge H. Albert Venn Dicey, The Man and His Times. Chichester, Rose. Shepard, Stephen M. Dicey, Albert Venn in Hamoe, Ronald. The Encyclopedia of Libertarianism. Thousand Oaks, C.A., Sage, Cato Institute. pp. 123-34. doi.10.4135.9781400.0001. N71. ISBN 978-1-4129-6580-4. LCCN 2008009151. OCLC 750831024.